Hi, welcome to my home. I have grown at this amazing home of tigers, enriched with dense forests, flora, fauna, animals, and hundreds of species of birds and reptiles, which is known as Jim Cobbenshire Park, and it's my home. As beautiful as it is in the depths, it is also scenic around it. It is also known as Corbett Tiger Reserve and I am sure that you have never seen a blog about Jim Corbett National Park like this one because it's my home and I know everything you need to know about it before stepping into it. Even after being a limitless human being, this place keeps me connected to the earth and nature. No matter how many accomplishments I will have ahead in time, and whoever the hell I may wanna be, but my relationship and attachment for this place will be the same. I love to travel to cover up the miles and to discover the unimaginable places that exist in this universe. This is the beginning of the journey around this planet and I am starting from my home because I know the best about it. Everyone loves their birthplaces and the places where they spent their childhood and made the best friends. But this place is like every sunrise and every sunset. It has a different story, a different melody, a different rhythm and a different feel. I have watched many video blogs about my hometown and I felt that there is a lack of proper information or wrong information is being delivered to the travelers. The main reason for making this video is that you get the most useful, updated and right information about this beautiful wildlife destination. I'll give you the best ideas how to reach, all about zones, where to stay, type of safaris, how to get permits, sightseeing around Corbett and all about booking procedures that will work ahead of 2022. First of all, I will start with the location. The Jim Corbin Asia Park is a completely dense forest with free roaming wildlife inside it. There are no boundaries inside it. It is located in the Uttarakhand state of India. Most of its core area is laying over the Nainital district of Uttarakhand and it's being operated from Ramnagar city. This place can be found on the web by searching Ramnagar Uttarakhand. While searching for driving directions, it's recommended to head to Ramnagar instead of searching as Jim Corbin Asia Park because the main location of Jim Corbin Asia Park is shown inside the jungle which is not accessible generally. You can also reach Kordwar to access the Sonanadi wildlife area which is also referred as Kalagar Tiger Reserve but for first timers Ramnagar is the best. Sometimes people also reach Kordwar for Jim Corbin Asia Park but they wanted or they booked a hotel and safari near Ramnagar. Ramnagar is the main and nearest city of Jim Corbin Asia Park and most of the tourist zones are situated here. Most famous tourist zones of Corbett like Tikala, Bijrani, Jirna, Tela, Durga Devi, Garjia, Pato and Corbett Landscape which is also known as Sitavani. These all zones are near Ramnagar city. You must navigate to Ramnagar while searching driving directions for Jim Corbin Asia Park.
Now I will explain to you the zones forest rest houses and safaris in Corbett. The forest land areas which are reserved for the tourism purpose in Jim Corbett National Park are referred to as zones. There are 10 tourism zones in Corbett National Park. These tourism zones are named Dikala, Bizrani, Jinna, Dela, Durga Devi, Garjia, Corbett Landscape, Fato, Pakro, and Sonanadi Wildlife Zone. Pakro and Sonanadi zones are accessible from Kordwar, which is too far from Ramnagar. But I have also seen the Sonanadi wildlife area and I loved it. I stayed there in the Haldu Padao forest rest house of Sonanadi zone with some of my personal tourists. Haldu Padao forest rest house is located in the dense forest of Sonanadi wildlife zone and we waved through the dense jungles of Domunda zone which is accessible from Durga Devi gate near Ramnagar city. In this block, I am only covering Dikala, Bizrani, Jinna, Bela, Durga Devi, Garjia, Fato and Corbett landscape zones. Because these gates are near to Ramnagar city and these are the most visited tourism zones of Corbett Nisha Park, Pakro and Sonanandi zones are too far and not easily accessible from Ramnagar. So we are planning to cover them in another detailed block. Let's start with the most demanded and beautiful, the Dikala zone of Corbin Park. Dikala zone or you can also understand the zone as an area situated at the bank of Ramganga Reservoir which makes it wow and wildlife lovers love this place. Ramganga river is said to be the lifeline of Corbett. Even after not having luxury facilities, people go for it without wasting a second and they can also cancel their stay even in Taj if they get a chance to witness the Dikala. Nangadi is the entrance gate for Dikala zone and in the entire Dikala zone there are 5 rest houses located at 5 different locations. Out of these 5 rest houses, the main rest house is named Dikala and the rest are Garal, Sarabduli, Kinanoli and Sultan. In the entire Corbin Park, Dikala is the largest and most demanded tourist place but the demand is high and rooms are limited so it's quite difficult to get their stay in Dikala forest lodges. That's why it's just a dream of many tourists and wildlife lovers. To witness Dikala, you have two options. Either you stay there for a minimum of one night or you book a canter safari day visit for six hours. Because Dikala is 30 km deep in the heart of Corbett from its entry gate Dhangadi. So there is only canter safari for day visits in the Dikala zone. Only the visitors having a night stay in the Dikala zone can enjoy the jeep safaris in Dikala. You will get two jeep safari permissions with one night stay booking and similarly you will get four jeep safari in two night stay and six jeep safaris with three night stay in any forest rest house of Dikala zone. Night stay or canter safari to Dikala zone can be booked online through the official website of Corbett from corbettonline.uk.gov.in and all the forest lodges and safaris for Corbett can be booked from this website. Dikala canter safari takes 6 hours and is being operated twice a day daily. Canter safari can be booked on per person per seat basis. The morning boarding time is 5.30 am from Ramnagar and for the evening slot you can board the canter from Ramnagar at 11.30 am. You can also board the canter safari straight from the Dhangadi gate if you are staying near it. Canter doesn't fit, so please be on time. Oh, let me tell you one interesting thing. In the entire Corbin Asia Park, only three forest rest houses which are Main Dikala Forest Lodge, Garal Forest Lodge and Vizrani Forest Lodge have a canteen facility all the other forest rest houses in any zone of Corbett don't have canteen facilities. That means you have to carry your ration for your food preparation while staying in any Corbett forest lodges apart from these three Corbett forest lodges but you will find a cook and other necessary items there. This experience becomes more unique and adventurous when you come to know that all of these forest lodges do not even have the electricity except in main Dikala FRH but they have a solar light system which gives you enough power to charge your phones, cameras and lightens the premises. That's all about Dikala for now. 
about the night stay and Kanta Safari Reservation. I will explain ahead in the same blog. Now I will move to Bizrani zone. To explore the Bizrani zone, you have to enter from the Amdanda gate which is situated just 1 km from Ramnagar. Bizrani zone has two forest rest houses named Bizrani and Malani. Bizrani forest rest house has a canteen facility whereas in Malani you have to carry your ration from the outside. Taking ration from the outside is not a very difficult task. I have stayed in the Malani forest rest house and it was an amazing experience. You can ask your jeep driver to collect the necessary items before you reach there and they will purchase all the items according to your needs. To witness the Bizrani zone, either you can book a night stay or you can do a jeep safari for 4 hours. Bizrani zone offers a 4 hours long jeep safari in the dense jungles of the Bizrani zone. It opens for the safaris every day at 6 am for the morning slot and at 2 pm for the evening slot. The morning slot ends at 10 am and the evening slot completes at 6 pm. Maximum 30 jeeps can enter in one slot in the Bizrani zone for the jeep safari day visit. Slot timings may change a bit depending upon the season. Night stay or jeep safari bookings for Bizrani can be made online from the official website. Bizrani safari will cost you approx 5000 rupees for up to 6 packs from Ramnagar to Ramnagar. These 5000 rupees will include the permit charges, jeep charges and guide fee and you can spend 4 hours inside Bizrani zone. This should be the maximum charges but you may need to pay extra for the pickup and drop from your hotel or resort. The next zone is the Jirna zone which is accessible from the Dela gate and the delegate has located at a distance of 10 km from Ramnagar. Jinnah zone has a forest rest house named Jinnah FRH but without a canteen. You have to carry your ration for food preparation. A cook, crockery and gas arrangements will be there. Likewise with Rani, Jinnah also offers day visits by open jeeps twice a day. There is a limit of 30 jeeps in each slot. The Jinnah safari will also cost you around 5000 with the same inclusions. The next zone is Dela zone and the entry gate is the same as for Jinnah. Dela zone is situated near the Jinnah zone and its recently opened gate from the last few years. Dela offers jeep safari as well as forest rest house named Dela FRH and has a limit of 15 jeeps for the morning safari and 15 jeeps for the evening safari. Jeep safari rates inclusions and terms are the same for the Dela zone, likewise Jinnah Jeep Safari. Now let's proceed to Domunda zone and the entry gate for this zone is Durga Devi gate. Domunda zone is usually referred to as Durga Devi or Lohachor zone and it is situated at 28 km from Ramnagar near Marchula village and can be booked in advance online from the official website of Corbett. Durga Devi offers jeep safari and has a limit of 15 jeeps for the morning safari and 15 jeeps for the evening safari. Jeep safari rates, inclusions and terms are the same for the Durga Devi zone likewise Bizrani jeep safari. The next zone is Garjia zone which is accessible from Garjia gate which is situated at 9 km from Ramnagar near Dikuli village. Garjia zone is a new zone opened in 2021, offers only day visits by open jeep twice a day. There is a limit of 30 jeeps in each slot and the rates are same likewise Bizrani zone. Now let me tell you about a special zone of Corbett which is publicly known as Sitavani zone. A few years back its name changed to Corbett landscape zone from Sitavani zone. It is the reserve forest of Corbett National Park and it's beautiful. 
there is no advance reservation required for this zone you can get a permit on the spot from its entry gate located in teda village but you will need to book a green jeep safari to roam inside it when it was sitavani people were allowed to take their private vehicles in this zone but with the establishment of the corbett landscape zone private vehicles are banned in this zone there is a temple named sitavani which you will see in the middle of the safari that's why it was named sitavani when it was sitavani the visitors could only go up to the temple but with the change of its name new tracks were created which gives you the exit from pavalgarh gate and a proper safari system and management were assigned now the exit gate is pavalgarh gate which makes the safari duration double as comparison to the previous safari length corbett landscape jeep safari will cost you inr 3000 in a normal environment which includes jeep and permit charges for up to 6 people guide is not mandatory in this zone but during the long weekends or in case of shortage of jeeps the prices may rise further now the last zone is fato zone and i'm going to take you inside it let's start with the beginning i took my younger brother and my four friends inside the safari zone We woke up at 5 a.m. for the safari, and it was a glowing morning. We started from Kanya, and we enjoyed the beautiful sunrise before we reached Pato Gate, which is located in Maldan Village near Ramnagar. This block was incomplete without a jungle safari. So we are also going for a jungle safari. And I have seen almost all the zones of Corbett like Dikala, Bizrani, Jenna, Dela, Durga Devi, Garjia. And today we are here. This is a new zone opened from January 2022. We have a driver and a guide. Meet Javed, a driver and our guide, Mr. Pramod Satyawali. Mr. Pramod Satyawali is a naturalist in Jim Cobb National Park, and they will guide us through this safari, and they will educate us about this show. So let's go. In the meanwhile you will enjoy the photo jeep safari and i will tell you how to book a jeep safari and how you can explore it at its best i will tell you some secrets nobody will tell if you are still watching this video then it means i gave you something to grasp and trust me this is not just a blog it is the conclusion of my 12 years in the tourism with corbett and because it's my home so i know it very well if you find this video useful hit a like and do subscribe to us for more amazing places we are heading ahead okay so coming to the point let me tell you how to book a jeep safari for corbett in the entire corbett except in sona nadi zone There are only two zones that have a manual booking system and all other zones can be booked online in advance. These two zones are Corbett Landscape which is also known as Sita Bani and this new one the Fato zone in which we are roaming today. Firstly, I will tell you how I booked this jungle safari for this Fato zone 
as I told you that there is no advance reservation required for the corporate landscape zone and this zone. So I called Mr. Mahesh Best for their Jeep. They have three permitted Jeeps in Corbett and they are taking care of all my safaris since 2010 and till now there is no complaint from their side. Their great hospitality and services keep our friendship to become stronger. They sent Javed with us. I also know our driver Javed personally and he is also a good friend. So when we reached Parto gate, we took a permit from the entry gate and we met with the guide here. Guide is mandatory for Jeep safaris in Corbett except in Corbett landscape but you don't need to bother for a guide in advance. A guide will approach you at the entry gate and if there is no guide in your safari then you don't need to pay for the guide fee. Corbett has increased the Jeep charges and you make sure that you get your complete 4 hours inside the jungle. I had an alone encounter with a leopard when I was around 15 years near my home and I have also seen the tigers many times so I never go for a safari to just find some wild animals. For me it is beyond finding wild animals. For me it is about discovering the unexplored jungle paths, listening to different kind of bird chirping and melodies. Sometimes it is completely noiseless and feels emptiness. Wild animals you see during the safari are actually the bonus and you should take a deep breath inside the jungle and There are many unimaginable gems hidden in this forest that will connect you through the creation and the creator and we found one of them here. Presenting the pink lake or you can also say it is a pond Whatever it is lake or a pond It is just beautiful and I have never seen a pink lake before I wonder how many gems it will be in the entire Corbinacea park like this Which are pure and still unseen and untouched After staring at this pink lake for a couple of minutes we moved ahead towards the Fato rest house. Until we reach Fato FRH, I will tell you some important points about forest rest houses. All the forest rest houses in Corbett can be booked 45 days earlier in advance from the official website of Corbett. Dikala and Pizrani zones get sold out within a couple of minutes every day. But other zones are also good and can be booked easily. One important point to keep in mind that all the charges I have told for all the safaris to any Jones are for Indian nationals only. Now we have reached the Fato Forest Rest House, but Fato Rest House isn't operational for now because it is just started from Jan 2022, so it is under maintenance and may be operational from the next year. Let's listen the history of these forest rest houses from our guide. Forest rest house you are seeing is from the British era. British rulers used to roam in the jungles on the elephants in the search of their hunt. So for their convenience, they built many forest rest houses to spend a couple of days while hunting at many locations in Corbett, which are now being hosted as forest lodges. Part of forest rest house is being renovated and will be available for visitors very soon. Your safari gets half at Fato FRH. After having some fun, we moved back towards Fato Entry Gate. Safari track length is well enough to spend 4 hours inside this zone, but the animals are shy. 
they will take some time to get habitual with these green safari cars <laughs> Almost in all the zones of Corbett, there is a small canteen in between the safari where you can take a short break and have some tea, coffee, or snacks. But the Fardo zone doesn't have a canteen yet because it's just started from Jan 2022 and there is not much rush. It's getting popular and will be crowded soon. Then it may have a canteen for a tea break. One more interesting thing about this zone is that it has a limit of 40 jeeps in one slot which is the highest limit in the entire Gobanesha Park. A maximum of 30 jeeps were allowed in other zones in one slot in the whole Corbett before its establishment. One is dead. Sorry, I forgot to mention the rates for this safari. So this Fado Jones safari will cost you approx 5000 rupees including a jeep, permit and guide fee from Ramnagar to Ramnagar. You just need to take a green jeep and head to Fado safari entry gate, take a permit and guide from the gate and you can enjoy the safari. Things you should know are like a maximum of 6 adults and 2 children below 11 years can be accommodated in one jeep officially but it gets congested for eight packs because you will get two sofa seats which are only comfortable for a maximum of six adults one more thing you should also know is that in the entire corvette only the corvette landscape which is also known as sitavani zone doesn't have a jeep safari limit but the rest all the zones are having a limit for the jeep safari for each slot and Fato Zone has a limit of 40 jeeps in one slot so you should try to reach a little bit early before the entry time because safari permits are being distributed on first come first serve basis so only the first 40 jeeps will be allowed at one time and it will get sold out during the rush if your number comes after 40 here at the time of entry then you may be disappointed Our Fado Jeep Safari is about to end and we are about to reach Fado Entry Gate. After visiting almost all the zones in Corvette, I can say that the density and serenity of the Fado zone are up to the mark. Apart from the safari, it also has a pink lake which can be witnessed only in this zone and one should go for it without considering too much. As you know, I am from the Corbett and uh, I have visited uh, the Maldan village earlier and uh, I noticed that this zone is located near Tumadia Dam which is a huge water source and it indicates the presence of many wild animals in this zone and we are heading towards it. At a little additional charge, you can ask your driver to take you to Tumadia Dam, but the roads are very bumpy. It is a good spot for bird watchers, many kind of migrated as well as domestic birds can be seen at this place, depending upon the season. After spending a couple of minutes at this beautiful place and we took some photos and videos, then we moved back to Ramnagar and the safari ends here. Now I will tell you how to make online reservations for Corbett Jeep Safari and Corbett Forest Lodges. Let me take you to the official website of Corbett to explain the booking procedure. The official website of Corbett is corbettonline.uk.gov.in as soon as the site loads, you will see a notice board that gives you the current and upcoming updates about Corbett. Right now there are two notices showing here. The first notice is an, an appeal to you 
to fill your original mobile number and your personal details correctly while booking a permit so that you don't have any issue at the time of entry and the second notice is about the yearly off of Kovanesha Park. Kovanesha Park closes only on the day of the holy festival throughout the year and this notice is about that holiday off. Now let's close this notice board and proceed ahead. This is the home page of Corbett's official website. This green calendar here you can check the availability of day visits in Corbett for any date showing in green color. Jeep Safari Day Visit or Dikala Kanta Safari Day Visit in Corbett can be booked two months prior in advance. Let's click on a date and the name of the first zone is Pizrani zone. Pizrani has a limit of 30 jeeps in one slot and there are two slots for safaris in Corbett morning and evening. The last number shows the maximum permissible jeep limit and the first number is the total number of available jeeps. So as of now, jeeps are available here and a maximum group of 6 adults and 2 children below 12 years can go in one jeep. The next zone is Dikala Eco Tourism Zone. In this zone, there is no day visit by jeep safari. As I told you earlier that there is only Kanta safari day visits for Dikala and their 64 seats are showing here. 4 canters are going in every slot and there are 16 tourist seats in each canter. That's why it's showing a maximum limit of 64, which are 64 seats in 4 canters. Apart from the Dikala zone, all other zones have Jeep Safari Day visits in the entire Corvette. Similarly, you can see below the availability of the rest of the Jeep Safari zones. The entry gate of Pakro and Sonanandi is near Kordwar, so people who stay near Kordwar only choose these gates for a jeep safari. The rest of the zones are situated near Ramnagar and can be booked from this website. After checking the availability for your dates, you have to proceed further. If the permits are available in your desired safari zone for that particular slot, then you can click on the book now button showing next to it. Now you will land on the login page. If you do not have a login ID, then click on the register button on the left side. While booking permits on Corbett's official website, user registration is the most challenging task on this website. But listen carefully to know how you can easily create a user ID for this website. First of all, you have to select one of your government IDs and enter its number here. Then you have to enter your date of birth mentioned in your ID. After that, enter your name here, enter a valid mobile number that is active and you will go through an OTP verification on the given number. Enter your email ID here. Now you have to upload a passport size photograph of yourself. Who's Size should be between 10 KB to 15 KB. Choose a password that should contain one capital alphabet, two small alphabet, and a special character like a comma at the rate bracket start or bracket close. It is easy. And pick three numeric digits for your password. Enter your password at the place of password and confirm password and type the text correctly that appears in the puzzle and then submit this form. Now you will get an OTP message on the register mobile number. After validating your account, you will be able to log in with your credentials at Corbett's website. Now go to home page, cross this information board and click on the register and book button and fill up your login details like your mobile number which you, you, you used for the OTP verification, your date of birth, password and enter the CAPTCHA code carefully. Now click on login. I have a genuine ID at this portal and it's illegal to create a dummy or wrong ID on this portal so I couldn't create another ID. I hope you have logged in and your ID is working fine. If you have any issues, you can comment below. When you are logged in, 
to the portal it seems like this cross this availability chart and you can see a drop down menu on the right you have to select what you want to book and i am looking for a jungle safari select your preferred safari zone from this drop down menu let's check a safari for the jhirna zone now pick your desired date for your safari and you can see that it is showing the availability for next 60 days that means you can book a safari 60 days in advance let's pick a date you don't need to select this shift for now it will show the availability for both slots you can click on this small button to see the availability now it is showing the availability of jirna zone for the desired date and upcoming dates above row is for morning shift and the below row is for the evening shift safaris you can see the availability for every particular day and shift here but for the morning slot it is showing zero jeeps left that means it is sold out for that particular day and shift but the evening slots are available we can also check for other dates if we need a morning safari now we can see the availability of the morning slot for our desired date we have to click on the uh, that box accept this agreement and you will be asked to select the total number of travelers you can select a maximum of six adults and two children for one jeep and children should be below 12 years kids below five years need no mentions after filling the visitor details correctly you have to check this terms and condition agreement and click on proceed now it is telling you that you have chosen Dela gate which is accessible from ramnagar city proceed ahead and you will reach at the payment page now you have to make the payment to confirm your permit after the successful payment you will land at the permit confirmation page and you can download your permit you will also be asked to reserve a jeep in advance for your permit jeep and guide charges you will need to pay after reaching there i recommend mahesh ji for a best safari in corbett their contact details and vehicle number is showing on the screen i still have a lot to tell you about corbett but this video is already too long and about night stay booking booking tips and tricks amazing sightseeing places near corbett i'm going to reveal in my upcoming blog on corbett and if you are wondering who i am i am lalit mohan the managing director at the bumi travel and tourism llp I founded Dev Bhumi Tourism five years back and we are promoting Uttarakhand, Himachal and Kashmir tourist destinations of India. Dev Bhumi Tourism is based in Haridwar and we are shooting it for our next vlog. Stay updated with us for more amazing places. Do like, share and subscribe to us if you like this video. See you in Haridwar. Bye bye.